What's up mga kuya? Welcome back to the channel and it has arrived. The Poco X3 Pro, the much awaited Poco X3 Pro. So mukha madedelay na naman nga yung bili ko ng monitor. So yeah, Xiaomi Poco didn't actually send me this. I actually bought this with my own money for 10,994, the early bird price. And as of making this video, you can get this right now for 12,990 at Shopee for the MSRP. Now regarding that early bird price of 10990 I feel like that's going to come back in certain sales. For example, this coming for for sale of Shopee. So maybe check this out every day on Shopee to know if it's on sale. And the main reason why I bought this instead of a monitor upgrade is because of the value offering that this just offers. So Snapdragon A60, which is basically like a bend or overclock version of the Snapdragon 855 Plus from 2019. So for comparison, this performs almost the same as with the Snapdragon 865 which was pretty much the latest and greatest a few months ago and to get that in a package for less than $300 US or under 15,000 Philippine pesos it's insane so for now this will be my unboxing and first impressions of the Poco X3 but right off the bat I'm expecting this to be a mind-blowing performer like in terms of performance hindi katalo dito like panalong panalo to mga kuya so what I have with me is the phantom black color option with 6 gigs of memory and 128 gigs of storage which is the base version. So welcome to the Poco family. Very nice. And I believe what we have here is the SIM ejector tool, soft clear TPU case, yeah, and actually some stickers from Poco. So that's very nice. Your usual books and shits. And this is the soft clear TPU case that it comes with. And here we have the Poco X3 Pro. So again, Snapdragon 860. 120Hz 6.67 inch IPS LCD display under Corning Gorilla Glass 6 UFS 3.1 storage that's insane dual stereo speakers with NFC and a 5160 mAh battery with 33 watts of fast charging and actually the charger comes included in the box so sang ka pa so I'm just gonna set this aside so here we have the 33 watt fast charging brick and it actually has the same like orange accent as with the same charging brick that came with the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro and of course the type C to type A cable also with orange accents. So here's the full spec list you guys can just pause the video. So on the outside it looks similar to the original Poco X3 except for this like colorway on the back like kind of a gradient effect on the back so over here we have the poco branding the quad camera setup here and i don't like that this is a glossy finish here at the middle part um so the back of this is actually plastic which is i guess the only thing so far that i don't like about the design so yeah if you didn't know that the back of the poco x3 is actually plastic and it looks like it comes pre-installed with a plastic screen protector yeah i don't like that I mean, it already has Corning Gorilla Glass 6 at the front, so why would you need a screen protector for this? So at the bottom, 3.5mm headphone jack, USB Type-C, a bottom firing speaker grill. On the right side, we have the power button slash fingerprint scanner and volume rockers. On the left side, we have the SIM card tray, and at the top, we have the um, IR blaster and secondary noise cancelling microphone. At the front top side, in the middle, we have the 20 megapixel front facing camera in a hole punch and also the earpiece speaker grill which also acts as the loudspeaker giving you dual stereo speakers so very nice again so i'm just gonna put this up real quick and also another thing that i don't like about the design is the aluminum frame uh, the sides is shiny glossy yeah i'm not a fan of that and actually here's a quick side by side comparison to the xiaomi redmi note 10 pro which actually has the same screen size as the poco x3 pro and just on design alone the xiaomi redmi note 10 pro actually looks more elegant compared to the poco x3 so i'm actually going to be doing a separate uh, comparison video of the poco x3 pro to the xiaomi redmi note 10 pro so stay tuned for that uh, most likely i'll be uploading that after i uh, upload my full review of the poco x3 pro so yeah be subscribed and turn on notifications for that so i'm gonna set this up real quick and come back to you guys in a bit a few moments later and we're back mga kuya so i've been using the poco x3 pro for quite a bit and as you would expect a performance right out of the box is just excellent like there's pretty much no lag browsing the ui opening closing apps and actually the first thing that i want to show you guys is its performance with genshin impact so as you all know genshin impact is like the benchmark nowadays for a smartphone like if your smartphone can run genshin impact smoothly then wait it's an awesome phone already and one thing about the speakers actually 
Um, so I'm going to set it to the max volume. So I'm not sure if you notice it, but the bottom speaker grill is actually louder compared to the top speaker grill. Like not by a lot, but significant enough that I was able to notice it at max volume. So yeah, that's something to take note. Like I'm not sure if this is a problem with my specific unit, but uh, if you currently own the Poco X3 also, then leave your feedback in the comments if uh, it's the same with you. Like the bottom speaker grill is again louder than the top speaker grill. And as you can see, we have Genshin Impact running at the high settings at 60 FPS and it's really very smooth mga kuya. And uh, actually one thing, I think I forgot to turn off motion blur. Yeah, turn off motion blur, I don't like that shit. Uh, motion blur it seems something that um, kinda makes a game feel sluggish like any game if you're a pc gamer especially so yeah for the most part it's really smooth mga kuya. so again just performance speed gaming ufs 3.1 storage all combined this is a silky smooth experience combined with a 120 hertz refresh rate and a 240 hertz sampling rate and even with my small issue with the speakers here uh, output is still loud and clear for the most part uh, actually quite comparable to the output of my Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro so here it is again so again this has a 6.67 inch uh, IPS LCD with a 120Hz refresh rate and it's really good right also supports HDR10 but the thing is um, this kind of feels like a step down as I've been using again uh, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro which has an AMOLED display so and it still gets decently bright and plenty readable outdoors so of course I won't be giving my feedback on the camera quality on the Poco X3 Pro right now but here are a few sample test shots So again, the Poco X3 Pro has a 5160mAh battery, which should be an easy 2-day battery life for most people. Although if you're a hardcore mobile gamer, I would expect, like most likely, you'll be able to kill this within a day. But of course, with 33 watts of fast charging that's included in the box, you can charge your Poco X3 Pro as uh, Poco advertised it from 0 to 100 in just 59 minutes or 1 hour, so that's... Uh, very nice and of course the side mounted fingerprint scanner is fast and accurate for the most part so so far in my first impressions video of the poco x3 pro the two things that i don't like are the um, glossy finisher at the middle part of the back and the sides are really shiny like yeah fingerprint magnet but yeah that's gonna do it for my unboxing and first impressions of the poco x3 pro so uh stay tuned for my review of this which will be in about a week from now and of course after that i'm going to be comparing it to my xiaomi redmi note 10 pro after my review video on the poco x3 pro so yeah that's gonna do it for now uh, if you guys want to buy this now then i'll leave the links in the description again in terms of performance panalong panalo tong poco x3 pro of course as always stay safe mga kuya thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.